Hey y'all, this is Lou Ray. Here we are, my uh, 2006 Civic. I just got done with my, uh, my shutdown control. Here it is. It's got a PIC 16F877A. Um, here are the buttons, the control that we got got here. A 16 by 2 character L LCD screen. Uh, these two menu and then select button for uh, shutdown times, load up times, uh, temperature, whatnot. Basically, we can turn the key. Um, Mark Shower kicks on, turns the system on with some relays. And uh, see now it's loading the computer. You can see it's loading the computer here. Can't see very easy, but it uh, comes back from hibernation. You see, it's running this little animation here, and then it shows you the outside temperature. So we're loaded up here. Now we got got that set up. So got the outside temperature. As you can see, it's really hot here in Nebraska. Uh, 162 degrees. Gosh, I don't. I don't have my temperature sensor installed yet. I'll put that in later today. But uh, then when you shut down the key, it starts powering down. It tells the computer to power down. It goes into hibernation mode. It shuts down for like 10 seconds. And then um, everything shuts down. If you can hear the inverter just clicked off. It says thank you for driving safely. And then goodbye. And then it shuts off. Um, one other thing we got here with these uh with this I can I can turn on the computer with with this button here. This is a bypass shutdown. So if you're if you have your car on and you don't want uh you don't want it to shut down when you shut the car off, you push this button, it changes uh a setting, uh and then your computer stays on. The whole system stays on with this one. Also when the car's off you can use this to turn on your computer. This one here is the uh the subwoofer control. As you can see, if you push this one, it clicks the relay, and it shuts the, the subwoofer on or off. It basically just clicks it on. So if your car's off, you don't want the subwoofer on, you can just click that, and it'll it'll turn the power on and off here. Um, then this one here resets the inverter. Not very useful, but in case you ever want to shut down the inverter while you're going, it's, you can do that. Uh, this is the computer power. Turn the computer on and off. Here's the, uh, the the menu button. So when you're go you want to set it up, you get your shutdown time set, get your load at your computer loading time, get your temperature uh, Fahrenheit or Celsius, and then you got your uh, ignition delay time. And so in each one, you can select it um, anywhere from five to forty-five seconds. Um, in this case, I put it down for ten, um, and then. Uh, the loading computer time, 10 seconds. I've, this is Fahrenheit. You can take it to ignition delay. It's uh, three seconds of the delay for the ignition. So, so when you do turn the key and you, uh, when it shuts down, the ACC shuts off. You can turn the key. That's what it does. So, so now if I, st I push this button, the bypass delay it doesn't look like it does anything, but shut the key off. It all stays on. So if you then when you want to shut shut it down. You hit that hit that button again, shuts everything down, puts it in hibernation, shuts it down, we're good to go. Game over. Hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. See if I can help you out. I'm gonna post the schematics in the uh in the Pick Basic Pro software code on mp3 mp3car.com in the forms.